this proposal to deploy armed volunteers, civilian volunteers against criminality, are there any legal impediments to this? There are no legal impediments. Uh, uh, we, have, we have laws that, that, that regulate licensing of firearms. Uh, and I do not understand what this, uh, uh, what, 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 what this policy is. Are we, we, will, we, will we relax uh, our, our licensing laws? I, 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 I'm not prepared to accept that. Uh, it is bad enough today. You will make it worse by, by relaxing the licensing laws on firearms. It's very dangerous, very dangerous. Uh, there's so we, 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 uh, we, are, we are informed and we know uh, it's a public knowledge that a lot of loose firearms. Look at the number of people <laughs> you know, being killed uh, on a daily basis. And you'll make the situation worse. So, I mean, I do not know what this is all about. You are correct. Uh, yes, we, you are correct that we have laws uh, that would allow possession of firearms. There are very strict laws. Uh, we should uh, implement these laws uh, correctly and strictly uh, uh, because you know, more firearms or a more liberal environment for acquiring and licensing firearms will not solve our problem of hunger, will not solve our problem of lack of work. Uh, it will only uh, make our situation uh, worse. You know, I mean, there is a, uh, there, there was a, a proposal to include in the, in the law, in the bill, which would modernize our Bureau of Fire Protection to arm the yeah. 29,000 firemen. Can you imagine that? Yes, yes, right. Yeah. 29,000 firemen, they propose to arm as part of the modernization of the uh, of, of the uh, of, of our bureau of fire we opposed that and uh, there were 13 of us who specifically voted against that amendment introduced i think by by uh, senator Tolentino or senator de la rosa we opposed it and 13 senators crossed party lines to oppose it now and but in in the in the uh, bicameral conference committee, notwithstanding the, 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 the uh, rejection by the Senate, again, there was an effort to insert that clause, which would again arm our, our, our firemen. Again, we rejected the bicameral conference committee report. So uh, uh, the, this also indicates the, the, uh, how, how the senators feel about this. And I am sure that if this comes before the Senate in the sense of, uh, of relaxing the licensing requirements, I don't think it will pass the Senate if I read our senators correctly. I, to, to be clear, sir, just on, on that point, because, I, well, we do have to say, Malacanang has said it is not yet policy. The president was essentially just thinking out loud, according to Harry Roque. But assuming that he wants it, if he, were, if, if he wanted it to become policy, does it have to pass through Congress? Well, uh, Robbie, wh when you say he wants to make it policy, what does that exactly mean? Mm. Uh, relaxing the licensing requirements, allowing uh, uh, civilians mm. to be uh, armed mm. uh, legally? I mean, so what does this mean? Uh, uh, but I can assure you, that uh, if it means you relax uh, the licensing requirements, we will oppose it. And I'm sure that uh, there are enough votes in the Senate to defeat such policies. So that is why at this stage, uh, we do not know what, does exact, what exactly does this mean. Hmm. Are they going to relax the licensing requirements or are they going to authorize uh, the arming in mass of of, uh, of vigilante groups. I mean, uh, it's too hmm. early. I, I, I don't know what this means, but this early, I am saying that we are opposing. 